Okay, hey, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today I have a really cool sneak preview for you guys of this new Mitch Mason watch, the Maelstrom. So I'm shooting this right now. It's quite a bit uh, ways out until this watch is live and you can get the production model. So this is a prototype. So you won't be getting the full review, just a bit of a sneak peek preview. Um, and then I'll probably shoot another segment before sending this off that I will release later on, which will just be kind of a recap um, as everything starts going live and starts becoming available. And then at some point, maybe even get a production unit in hand and on the wrist to share with you guys as well. Now, uh, Mitch Mason was established back in 2019. They're basically a newer Kickstarter brand releasing their second timepiece. Now, this particular type of watch would be considered a dive watch, some key common characteristics, and design language when you're looking for a diver. Of course, you're going to want water resistance, typically through some type of screw down crown. You're going to want something that's tough, legible, with a dive time bezel, and a diver's extension is always nice if on bracelet. Now, this model is called the Maelstrom, and it's basically a more contemporary interpretation of the vintage super compressor dive watches. Um, and some of the differences uh, for production are, is that there will be a shorter hour hand and then as well as brighter and more refined loom application. And there will also be a loomed date, which is a nice touch. Um, this one will be going for $4.49 on Kickstarter, which I think is pretty competitive. And then later on going to full retail of $5.99. So it is coming to Kickstarter in October. October, so you can expect, depending on when you're watching this, to either be closer to October or beyond it. And maybe you'll be able to just get the live production versions by then. Um, but with all that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this piece in hand, and take a closer look. All right. As you can see, really quite handsome and really well put together. One of the things I really enjoy about this piece is that although it has very classical, um, you know, a, a very classic design aesthetic, it doesn't, um, uh, you know, look like anything else that's out there. I'd say it bears a passing resemblance in terms of silhouette to something like uh, the Notice Duality. Um, but then, you know, at the same time, uh, it, it's just, again, uh, it's just small things that it has in common versus uh, it being anything, you know, uh, where it's paying an homage. So I think that's really great. Great size, great fit and finish like you would expect from Mitch Mason. So very cool from that standpoint. Um, this has a 40 millimeter diameter. It's only 12 and a half millimeters thick. It has a 47 millimeter lug to lug. Its construction is, of course, 316 L um, stainless steel, and it's uh, fully brushed with some really great polished accents and bevels, as you guys can see. Really, really well done from that standpoint, even on this pre production prototype. So, very, very impressive. The crystal is a double dome sapphire with 10 layers of inner air coating, and as you can see, even at very harsh angles there still remains very very legible which is great there's not a lot of distortion or anything like that so it's going to remain quite readable which is a big part of why people love divers uh, even apart from the functional usefulness of having something that's ultimately legible it also kind of goes in with the theme and the aesthetic um, that people really buy into when it's something that they do choose to wear every day now inside here you're going to get an inner bi-directional rotating bezel which does have this screw down crown here i'm not going to play with it because this is a prototype and so even you know i don't want to mess with that um just because one um you know the movement and the way it feels or anything really won't be indicative to the production model as well as um i typically don't even mess with those in general um just because one a little tricky to align um, and then two it's not like there's um, you know one movement versus another when you have a clickable um, unidirectional bezel uh, you can kind of get a feel for the play um, you know everything like that these are all pretty much the same they're gonna be very smooth and you know lock in and whatnot and, and can go either direction very nicely um, 
the actual crown that controls the timing is signed uh, which is really nice and really nicely knurled as you can see there it's also a screw down crown uh, which helps with the it achieve the water resistance that it does have the movement inside although you can't see it is a miyota 9015 and uh, but you do have this beautiful um, deep stamped case back which I think looks, you know, really, really handsome. Uh, very, very nice, very, very detailed. I know that's something that will also be refined come uh, the actual production unit, so that is exciting news. Uh, when it comes to the movement, of course, like I mentioned, 9015 from Miyota, uh, which is a great movement, very solid. Um, as it's in a diver, it's typically gonna be a little bit quieter because, and so there's not gonna be a lot of whirring around. Or anything like that because it's a more you know substantial case it's gonna just feel a little bit more solid uh, more stable so when you do get a little rotor whirring away in there uh, you won't necessarily hear it and you may not even feel it it will just be dampened in general now um, when we get to this dial it is a really cool brushed blue sandwich dial they have polished hands and then swiss superluminova that does glow green you're getting 300 meters of water resistance and uh and and it looks the part and it actually can perform as well which is always a great touch um in terms of the measurements here on the lug width 20 millimeters you are getting quick release spring bars uh, built into the end links, which is great, which does help. And then you are getting screw in links there, as you can see. And uh, oh, there we go. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> screw in. No, that was the right side. <laughs> All right, screw in links, great. And then you're also getting uh, a nice milled clasp. Uh, you know with multiple micro adjustment holes, which I can absolutely appreciate um, You get these really great H-link style here um, Screw and connectors make it feel quite solid It does taper from 20 down to 16 and then it does have this really nice 19 millimeter milled clasp That is double locking and push button with manual micro adjust holes So it, it is really quite nice from that standpoint. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this piece on the wrist and see how it wears. All right guys, as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, really nice wear. Even when you get up really, really up close and there's some lens distortion there to make it look a little bit bigger, you can tell that it still wears quite nicely, drapes around the wrist. Really lovely H-links there. They kind of have this cool bevel and a slight kind of rounding to them, which does help soften things up. So I really do like that. And then you can see the profile on the wrist is really quite flat. Everything lays and tucks nicely. That taper is really killer, really, really beautiful. And then of course you can see that luscious blue dial just, you know, shining away, looking really, really great. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and move into some uh, loom shots, low light transition and closing thoughts. All right, we'll go ahead and hit the lights here. <laughs> oh yes, as you can see, even in prototype form, the loom is really quite nice. Very nice, clean layout. Very legible and readable. But the nice thing is once we get to the production run, you're going to see even more improvements from that standpoint. And really, just an overall more refined, well-executed package. But one thing we do like to do uh, as we work on these loom shots is get in some low-light transition because you're not always going to be out in the middle of a field enjoying direct sunlight. A lot of times you're gonna be coming in and out of a building, uh, walking underneath an overhang or the shade of a tree, or maybe just spending time within your favorite automobile. So with that said, we do try to get, uh, you know, a nice sample size of less than optimal lighting, even if we gotta make it a really, really harsh, high contrast lighting. You can still see the way the light glides over the brushing on the bracelet. Very, very nice. Also, you get an idea of what this dial is like and how it's going to render, how it's going to look at different angles, different colors, different textures. You can see in this case, when the light really holds onto it, you get a kind of a matte kind of haze over the dial. Um, and then it kind of just flashes away with uh, this really beautiful blue uh, dial as you can see here. So very very nice still very legible as you can see even when I put the lighting 
way off um, at, but you can see it's dying um, but again this is just a prototype things will get better all right guys so closing thoughts on the wrist it wears really nicely and i think it naturally hits that 40 millimeter sweet spot in terms of model variations uh there's the blue steel version as you can see here there's also a marimo green and a photic black um, as well as an ocean gray, which would be kind of my pick in terms of uh, the colorways that I really tend to enjoy. Uh, now, in terms of comparable models, I'd say it's definitely a super competitive space in between five and six hundred dollars for divers, um, but. I can definitely see the style being a huge factor for this watch. There's a big draw for people that just want a watch that meets a certain aesthetic, and I think this is a very handsome one that's extremely well executed. So for me guys, bottom line is, it's definitely great to see more brands establishing their own personal design aesthetics and really just delivering a well specced and themed option to the enthusiast community so i can appreciate this one but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please hit like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys